Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ash Freeman and today I have a mixture of cardio, yoga and Pilates for you to hopefully help you feel really nice and strong, energized and balanced in both the body and in the mind. All you'll need is your body today, so no equipment needed and a nice safe flat space for your mat. As always, you know your body best, so take breaks and modify whenever you need. Maybe have a bottle of water handy or a towel, maybe popping some music on in the background to keep you motivated. Apart from that, whenever you're ready, let's get moving. Alrighty, my friends, getting started today in child's pose, but before we come down, just placing the hands onto the thighs, softening through the shoulders. Let's just take a deep breath in through the nose, and then sighing the breath out through the mouth. Beautiful. Just taking one more easy breath in here. And as you exhale, finding child's pose, reaching the arms long, sitting the hips back to the heels. Just a few moments to settle into our practice, to connect to our body, to connect to our breath. On the inhalation, can we feel a sense of the body getting wider, expanding and opening? Exhales. We soften down, release. Let's walk the hands over to the right, starting to breathe some space into the left side of the body. Hips stay anchored and heavy. And let's come to the other side, arms walking over to the left, breathing into the right side. Making your way to centre onto all fours, shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees. As we inhale, drop the belly, shine the heart forward and through, breathing open into the front of the body. Palms spread long through the arms. And as you exhale, tuck the tail, draw navel back, let the head hang round the shoulders. Let's move once more like this, inhaling to open and arch. Exhale to round and release. This time as you inhale, come to tabletop, take right leg back, left arm forward. Find your balance, get nice and long. And then drawing the elbow to the knee, round through the spine, drawing the nose to the knee. Beautiful, once more, inhale to lengthen out, nice and smooth. And exhale, drawing everything back in and under. And coming back to all fours, tucking your toes, we're going to hover the knees off of the mat, round through the shoulders, drawing lower belly in. Firing up through the core for four, for three, press the mat away, two, one, and take the knees down, step the right foot forward, low lunge. Inhale, arms rise, gazing to the fingertips. As we exhale, finding a twist, left arm forward, right arm back. And again, inhale, arms rise, look forward. And exhale, opening to your twist, lower belly draws in. Inhale, arms rise. As we exhale, hands to the mat, send the hips back, half Hanuman or a hamstring stretch, drawing the toes back towards you. So just warming up to begin with. Take one more breath in here. And then coming forward, hands to the mat, step back to plank position. Beautiful, let's take the left knee to the left elbow. Step it back, right knee forward, step it back, once more to each side, shoulders over wrists, and to the right. Beautiful, let's find our cardio element now, so mountain climbers, either walking it or running it for four, for three, knee forward for two, for one, step back, knees down or lifted as we lower chaturanga, inhale cobra or upward dog. Exhale back to your child's pose. Inhale onto all fours, belly drops, heart through. Exhale, round and release, starting to come to the other side. Inhaling to open and exhaling to round. Back to tabletop, left leg back, right arm forward. And then drawing knee to elbow underneath, around the spine here. Once more, inhale to extend and exhale, drawing it in. Coming back to tabletop, tucking the toes, lifting and we hover here. So the knees directly under the hips, lower belly drawing in for two, for one. Lower the knees, step left foot through, low lunge, arms rise, breath in. 
As we exhale, find the twist, right forward, left arm back. Once more, inhaling to lift and exhaling to open. Inhale, lifting as we find our hamstring stretch. Hips back, hands down to the mat. This knee can be bent if you need. Drawing the inner and the outer edge of the foot back. Take one more breath in. Exhale, coming forward, stepping back to plank position. Right knee to right elbow. Step it back. Left knee. Step it back. Everything still, just using the side of the waist to squeeze. Last one to the left. And back, finding our cardio, some mountain climbers for four, for three, for two, for one. Plank position, move through your vinyasa, lower chaturanga, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, back to child's pose. Now we're gonna find some push-ups here. So coming forward, elbows pinning in as we lower down, and then press back, send the hips back, child's pose. We've got three more, so when you're ready, body nice and light, long through the spine. For the last two, and last one. Beautiful, and then sitting back onto your heels, taking the left hand down, right arm high, big breath into the right side of the body. Back through center, coming to the other side. Beautiful, let's take the arms wide, breath into the front of the heart and the chest. And then exhale, coming to forearms as we start to work into the backs of the legs. So sending the right heel up to the sky for our donkey kick. So let's go for one. Tap the knee back down for two, flex through that foot. And three, squeezing through the back of the leg for four. We're gonna hold it up here now, extend and point the toe, draw the heel back, squeeze for two. Beautiful, strong through the upper body for three, lower belly drawing in for four. Now extend out, point the toe, lower and lifting the leg for one and two, hips and shoulders square for three. Last one, four, holding it up, leg crosses behind and taps the ground, and then out to the side. So big rainbow drawing on the wall behind you for two, for three, smooth and controlled. Last one for four, hold the leg out to the side. We're gonna lift and lower for one, for two, outer edges of the hips working for three, for four, hold at the top, we're gonna to pulse for four, three, two, one, and come all the way down onto your belly, arms out wide into right angles, beautiful. Pointing back through those toes, feet can be together or slightly apart. As we inhale, lift up, reach the arms out, elbows draw back and lower down. Now you can take the legs up also if you like. Inhale, lift, reach, elbows back, Lower it all down, two more here. Beautiful, so lower belly drawing in, back of the body squeezing to lift. Last one, draw it in and down, find child's pose. Beautiful, just take a breath in here. And we're gonna come forward and to the other side. So onto forearms, flexing left heel, off we go for one. Heel to the sky, tap the knee down for two. Well done, three and four. Holding at the top this time, we point and extend the leg. Flex the foot, draw it in for two. Thigh facing down to the mat. Last one. Now extend leg out, point the toe as we lower and lift for two and three and four. Cross over and behind, paint the rainbow behind you as we come to the other side. For two, beautiful. Trying to keep your hips as still as you can, upper body still strong here. Last one for four. Holding the leg to the side, we lift and lower for one, two, three, four. Holding at the top, let's pulse for four, three, two, one. Come onto your belly, second round of our back extension, arms to 90 degrees. Let's lift up for one, reach out, draw it back, 
and lower again option to add the legs on to lift as well three and lower two more you are doing so well we're about to come up to standing so those arms are going to get a break in a moment and last round lift and squeeze reach draw it back and lower we're going to find downward dog so tuck your toes keep your knees as bent as you need here let's pedal out through the heels beautiful and then settling in center think arms and long strong long through the bones let's take right heel high three-legged dog and lower it back down come to the other side left heel high and lower it back down now feet might need to come a little bit wider we're going to take the right arm back so really grounding into the inner and outer edge of the left hand take the right hand down and then the left arm back left hand down beautiful inhale forward to plank exhale back to down dog three more inhaling forward strong exhaling it back two more and last one beautiful let's inhale onto the toes look forward bend your knees step or jump to the top of the mat forward fold we'll all meet here and take a little moment maybe rocking side to side maybe taking hold of the opposite elbow just letting the head hang bringing weight further forward into the balls of the feet one more breath in taking hands down to the mat inhaling half lift to fingertips or fingertips to shins exhaling to fold inhaling arms rise palms together gaze to thumbs exhaling arms release by the sides we're going to move through sun salutation b two times so following me now big toes touching inhale utkatasana chair pose sitting the hips down reaching the arms high taking one more breath in here and then exhale folding forward inhaling to half lift exhaling hands down step or jump back lower straight away with control chaturanga inhaling to cobra or upward facing dog exhaling back to downward facing dog taking one breath in here and a smooth breath out inhaling stepping right foot forward either to warrior one or high lunge position arms rise deep in the lunge strong back leg breath in exhale hands down step it back move through your vinyasa slow and steady with your breath exhale downward facing dog inhale stepping left foot forward again either warrior one or high lunge one breath in exhale hands down step it back moving through your flow or meeting a straight in downward facing dog choice is yours for three breaths here can you bring all parts of yourself back into this space all parts of the mind here and now inhale to the toes look forward bend the knees step to the top of the mat forward fold inhaling to half lift exhaling to release inhaling utkatasana chair pose let's pause and hold three breaths here lower belly drawing in inner thighs rolling down one more breath in and exhale to standing again inhaling utkatasana exhaling folding forward inhaling to half lift exhale hands down step or jump back lower chaturanga inhaling open the heart exhaling downward facing dog straight away inhaling right foot forward warrior one or high lunge arms rise one breath in exhale hands down step it back moving through vinyasa 
knowing that you can take any of these vinyasas to rest in child's pose, choice is yours. Stepping left foot forward, rising up, deep lunge, strong back leg. Soft shoulders, one breath in, exhale, hands down, step it back, move through. Meeting back in our downward facing dog. Three breaths here with the option to come down to forearms if you like for our dolphin pose. Otherwise back in downward dog. Connecting back to breath. One more breath in. Returning back to downward facing dog. Inhale, rise to the toes, look forward. Bend the knees, step or float, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling to half lift and exhaling to release. Inhaling, Utkatasana, arms rise. Holding here for three breaths. Sinking down through the hips, reaching through those arms. One more breath in and exhale to stand. Now we're gonna to come to a little bit of a cardio hit sequence, moving between squats and lunges. So when you're ready, bringing the feet a little bit wider, we've got two squats and two lunges, off we go. So one with the option to do this as a jump squat, and then we go for two lunges. One with the option to do these as jump lunges as well. Now we're gonna go for four. So one, two squatting or jump squatting, three, four, stepping it back for one and two and three and four. Now we go for six. So you see where we're going for one, two, three, four. If you're jumping, you might be moving a little bit faster. So just keep going until I've stopped. Now let's go back for six lunges. One and two, really challenging yourself here, three, four, five, and six. Final round, we go for eight. One, and two, sitting low, open chest. Three, and four, five, six. Well done, you're doing so well. Seven, and eight. Ooh, eight lunges, off we go. Eight, slow and controlled. So you might not get the full eight in here, that's okay. Just getting in whatever you can. Form over quantity always. Seven and eight. Beautiful coming to standing. All right, so you might wanna have a chair or a block for this. We're gonna be coming into warrior three. So that might help you balance with your hands. Otherwise taking balance into the right foot, left knee to chest, and then exhale, sweeping back to warrior three. We come straight forward again, inhale, as much as we can, trying to keep that left foot off the mat. And exhale, sending it back. Again, hands can come down for support if you need. Inhale, lifting it tall, slowing it down. Exhale, sending it back. Last one, inhale, lifting up tall. Exhale, sending it back. Coming up to standing, knee back to chest. Take the gaze to the left, back to center, Woo. to the right, back to center. Arms rise, extend left leg, holding for three, for two, point the toes for one, and release. Shake it out, well done. Let's take that to the other side. So coming onto your left leg now, right knee into the chest, hands to heart. Breath in and send right leg back. Beautiful. And back forward, slow it down. Choose a point for your eyes to focus on. We've got two more. Really hinging at that left hip. Strong right leg. Last one. Beautiful, sending it back. Coming all the way up, holding the balance, taking the gaze slowly to the right, 
drawing tall back to center over to the left back to center arms rise leg extends point the toes we hold for three for two for one and lower let's do some calf raises so again you can use a wall or a chair to hold on to feet together let's go for eight so lifting up and lower and two and lower keeping the ankles drawing together three lower and four beautiful everything drawing up let's go four more right onto the tips of the toes and last two and last one now we're going to hold at the top lower just halfway and lift beautiful we've got three halfway lift back for four four more we've got this five oh i'm really feeling my calves burn <laughs> last two last one and lower the heels down well done let's take a breath in arms rise let's exhale to shake out through the arms and the legs and then once more inhale arms rise exhale let's fold forward inhaling to half lift exhale hands down step it back come down onto the knees and let's come to seated on our mats so legs out in front let's move into a little bit of core work so we're going to be moving through in our two two four four six six eight eight rhythm again between two exercises in these rounds so we'll start with navasana boat pose we can have toes down hands can hold behind the thighs or legs can be lifted bring the hands to the heart we're going to hold for one two we're going to take two little rows so to the side for one and two we hold for one two three four we go for one two three four for six five four three two one six five four three two one we go for eight so tempting to count up my speed up my count here four three two one and off we go for eight seven six five four three two one holding at the center for good luck and then come all the way down onto your back we're going to be working between crunches and hip raises again two two four four etc so hands by the sides and off we go crunching up for one and two hands down we lift the hips twice hips to the sky lower down grounding through the heels and lower now we go for four one elbows wide two gaze to sky three lower belly drawing in hands down lifting the hips your feet are about hip distance apart and the back and in as close to your body as you can and four let's go for six one pressing the lower back down into the mat as you lift four five six hands down adjust the shoulders lifting up for six and five notice as you lift and lower are your hips kind of rocking from side to side are we grounding through one heel more than the other final one and final round we're going for eight off we go eight and high get those shoulders up off the mat three four five hold for a second then lower six and seven last one hands down eight lifts off we go eight and seven beautiful six feel the backs of the legs working to press down and lift your hips up four and three last two last one we're going to hold at the top for good luck and pulse for eight seven six knees to the sky four three two one and lower down well done final round here we're going to be working between our bicycle and our scissors all right so off we go two one opposite elbow to opposite knee 
and then we bring the legs straight for two. Then we go for four, one, two, three, four with these bicycles. The hands can slide underneath the buttocks as well. Keep the chin to chest, the shoulders lifted. Now we go for six, five, four, three, two, one, and six, five, four, pointing those toes, two, your knees can be bent. Last round for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come onto your back. Well done. Let's take the right ankle to the left thigh and find a figure four stretch here. Keeping those right toes drawing back towards the knee and just breathe. A little moment just to catch the breath. Come back to your center. And left foot down to the mat, extending through that right leg. Knee can be bent if you need, just breathing into the back of the leg. If it's there for you, you can extend left leg long. One more breath in here. Let's find a twist. So just taking the hand to the outside of the right leg, bringing it across the body. And just any kind of twist that feels good for you. So you can hug your knees up. You can find a twisted roots variation. Just getting comfortable breathing into the right side of the body, the right side of the hip. In our moment, we have our final and our last cardio push. So you've got this. Letting the energy settle. Let's come back to the other side. So left ankle onto the right thigh, hugging it in, flexing through the left foot. Right foot down to the mat, extending left heel to the sky. Keeping those shoulders soft. Drawing the toes back. Let's find the twist. Hand to the outside of the leg. And just settling in here for five or so breaths. Left side of body opening. Beautiful, coming back to centre. Just taking a little sway from side to side. And then we're gonna rock and roll up the length of the spine, massaging between the shoulders, coming all the way up to the tail. And a little extra challenge here, you might take the hands down and start to lift the hips. You might take the feet flat, come all the way to standing, come all the way back down. Just a few rounds here, having a little play with any variation. Again, maybe just lifting the hips, playing with momentum. Let's take one more rock back and however you like, come all the way up to standing. All right, our final minute, we're going to be doing our burpees. So I'm gonna give you options. If you already know which kind of burpee that you wanna do, absolutely start to go for it. All right, so at the top of the mat, minute starts now. Hands down, step it back, step it in, arms rise. We can keep moving like this, or hands down, jump it back, jump it in, arms rise with a jump at the top, or we're adding a push up and we're just jumping the whole way through. All right, so wherever you are, whoo, being completely there and we have 30 seconds left so it's just a down out and in and an up little tip as you jump your feet in jump them wide drop the hips down Woo, whole body working nearly there go team you've got it all right we've got 15 more seconds Again, you might just be walking it out, moving as fast as you can for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's keep going. One more for good luck. 
and standing at the top. Well done, shaking it out. Coming back to the breath, just taking the hands to the belly, closing the eyes. Breathing into your hands. Oh, feeling all of that energy flowing, heart rate, breath. And releasing the arms by the sides. Let's take two roll downs to finish. So deep breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, rolling down through the shoulders. Piece by piece, all the way to your forward fold, let the head hang. Soft knees. Take a breath in, bend the knees, hips over the heels as we stack. Piece by piece, rolling back up. Shoulders up and down. Staying for one more breath in. And then chin to chest, rolling down. Final round. Letting it all hang here. Bending the knees, take your time to slowly roll back up. Once you're at standing, roll the shoulders up and back. Breath in, take hold of your left wrist. Little side bend over to the right. Back to standing, taking hold of the right wrist and taking it to the other side, over to the left. Inhale, exhale, left arm forward, right arm back, finding the twist, breathing here. Shoulders opening to the long edge of your mat. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, opening to the other side. And taking arms back and releasing them by the sides. Shaking out through the arms and the legs. And thank you so much. You are done. You are finished. Make sure you drink lots of water. You eat really well. Just take a few moments just to let the practice settle. Tune into how you're feeling and your energy. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here as always. I'm so grateful to have you here at my channel. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. And I'll see you again soon. Mwah!